Third squad, get your 30 cal to cover our flank. Second squad, follow in reserve. I got point. Elder and Martin on my tail. Everybody set? Let's go! Two MG42s up ahead. Third squad, draw their fire from the left. Second squad, hit them from the right. Go, go, go! There's a 
wounded man by the street! What the hell is wrong with you? Sarge! I'm sorry! Ah! Yeah. So many guys are getting killed! Oh god! Move it! Oh man! They're shooting me! Covering fire! Go, go, go! Take these explosives and try to shut their artillery down. I'll stay behind and patch your shit up.
fire this position. and secure these buildings. Now, let's go! Grab those enemy docks. Heads up, Jerry's outside. Grab that MG-42 and use it. Squad, base of fire, this position!
pop up and get out of here. First platoon, listen up. Sergeant Moody owes me 50 bucks because it looks like Operation Overlord was a success. Our British and Canadian friends took most of their objectives. And except for Omaha, all the beach landings went pretty smoothly. The airborne was misdropped everywhere, but the men formed mixed units and accomplished most of the airborne D-Day objectives. I am extremely proud of all of you. As you know, Sergeant Moody and Privates Elder and Martin broke through German lines to get word to battalion headquarters. If it wasn't for their success, HQ probably would not have sent the reinforcements that helped us hold St. Maraglise. At headquarters, Moody, Elder, and Martin were assigned to silence a German battery at Braycourt Manor and faced an entire platoon of Germans with only a handful of men. Well, it seems that someone at command noticed your actions. Our unit has been detached from the rest of the 101st so that it can be used for some special missions behind enemy lines. I suggest that you brush up on your German, gentlemen, and enjoy your R&R &R while you can.